Hi guys! Blessed New Year, Happy New Year, new season, new beginnings, whatever you want to call it. Welcome back. Thank you for joining in. I have a word. I have an amazing word that God took me to. And it's on Revelation 17, verse 14. And before I go into the word, I like to make a prayer. I thank you, God, for this moment. I thank you for this day. I thank you for this year. I thank you for last year. I thank you, God, for your amazing plan, for your amazing desires, for your amazing heart. I give you all the glory and all the honor. God, this is your season. This is your new beginning for us. Open our eyes, open our ears, open our heart, Father, to receive, to learn, to give, and to put you first, always to put you first, to give you our feelings, our failures, our, um, our goals. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. So, okay, Revelation 17, verse 14. They will make war against the Lamb, but the Lamb will overcome them because He is Lord of lords and King of kings. And with Him will be His called, chosen and faithful followers. I'm reading this and I am getting goosebumps. And I'm going to read it again. They will make war against the Lamb, but the Lamb will overcome them because He is Lord of lords and King of kings, and with Him will be His called, chosen and faithful followers. Thank you, God, for your word. Thank you for your powerful word. Lead me, teach me, guide me, inspire me, Father. All you do is inspire us to be like Jesus to follow Jesus, to look up to Jesus. Let this word, Father, heal us, guide us, revive us. I give you all the glory and all the honor, God, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Prayer. Prayer is powerful. Prayer is not something that you have to do Oh, I have to pray. It's a communication that we have with God when we're lost, when we're confused, when we're broken, when we're desperate, when we're going through depression. Pray. Cry out to God. Humble yourself to Him. He has something for us. They will make war against you. They make war against me. It's a daily battle. But we have the weapons that we need. We have next to us, in front of us, behind us, who overcame everything, who has the answer. We try to run. We try to scream. We try to fight. We try to take revenge. Jesus is the weapon that we need and that will work. Because what? Oh my gosh. Because with him, with him will be his called chosen and faithful followers you just have to be faithful in your pain in your joy in your doubt in your fear you have to be faithful you run to jesus i i've been through a lot this past year i went through different situations and um, at church in my marriage with my children and i with being a place that was very dark, um, a lot of fear, a lot of doubt, but I knew, I knew that the only person I could run to was Jesus. And to tell you the truth, I tried to run from him because I was so involved. I allowed myself to get involved in fear and in doubt, and I couldn't even look at Jesus. But even in my pain and in my fears, I said, Jesus, help me. Help me, Jesus. Make a way. Again, make a way where you think there's no way, where you think there's no hope. He has the way. He has the answer, and he always comes through for me. 
This is 2018, 2018. Your first choice is not about working out how to make money. Your choice is to put Jesus in your life as number one, in your marriage, with your children, at work. Jesus has to be one. And oh my gosh, peace comes over, more blessings come over. Stop running. Don't be stuck in that place. You can get out. You can cry out to Jesus and say, Jesus, help me and make a way. Because again, it's a war. It's a daily war that we could only be able to go through with Jesus. It's too much. And sometimes I've been there. You feel like you're drowning. You feel like there's no hope. You feel like you're just right on the edge of a hill. But if you just cry out to Jesus, stop yourself and cry out to Jesus and say, Jesus, make a way. But there's no way. Because he knows your heart. He knows your desire. He knows you love him. But he needs you to open your mouth and cry out to him. And he always comes through. Thank you guys for coming back. Um, I feel in my spirit a lot of new things are coming. This is a new season, and I give him this season. This is his season. My life is his life. My children, my husband. I want his plan. You want God's plan in your life. So we can succeed in everything we do. And we will experience a peace that the world does not have. Have a great year. Bye, guys.